when we look at this composite over here, we see that what we're actually trying to find is a cylinder that a hemisphere has been taken out of. So really what I'm looking for is the volume of this part all the way around. In order to find that, I'm going to have to take the volume of my entire cylinder and then simply subtract away the volume of that hemisphere. So let's look at what we have to do in order to get the volume of our cylinder. Remember, it's simply the area of the base multiplied times the height. That will give us the volume of our cylinder. And from that, we're going to subtract away the hemisphere. And so we're going to subtract away one half of four thirds pi r cubed. Now, when we start plugging in, remember our base is pi r squared. So we've got pi times two squared times the height, which is 2, minus 1 half multiplied times 4 thirds times pi times 2 cubed. If we punch that into our calculator, we find that that is approximately 8.5. 3.8 inches cubed.